Hey, first off, happy Thanksgiving from the Dinko Great Iron Show. When uh, Adam Bodecker and I set out to do this show, we wanted two key themes, make it about the player and about the community. And we've got a special Thanksgiving edition of the Dinko Great Iron Show today. We hope you enjoy it. It's all about a special player from the Denton Geyer Wildcats, Royce Marlowe, named the only Bodecker Beast for today. We hope you guys enjoy. Have a great day. It's okay, it's okay. I will. You're good, it's gonna be fun. I understand that you're going to be playing tonight. How do you feel about that, and what are you looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, beat Plano West, and uh, I know I'm going to. I have practice in uh, November 3rd, and um, I, I know I'm, I'm a running back for the offense of Geyer football, and uh, I can't wait to beat these uh, guys at at CH Collins against Plano West, and um, we. We had a hard time beating uh, Ryan, like, uh, I don't know, like last week. And, um, yeah, but uh, it's going to be fun. But everyone's excited to see me play. And then I'll see, I'll see, I win, I'll win this game and I'll see what I can do. We'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. All right, coach. Um, Friday night was a special moment for Geyer football, last district game. You, uh, you brought in uh, a player, Royce. Tell us a little bit about how that culminated and kind of the backstory on Royce. Yeah, you know, I don't know how long Royce has been at Geyer, uh, but I know he's been here for the last year and a half because uh, for the last year and a half daily, if he hasn't found me, he's found a coach. And if he didn't see a coach in the hall, he's hit up a teacher or a principal. And uh, Royce is, is very intelligent when it comes to the game of football. I think he knows every fact check there is to know on Michigan Wolverines. He's brilliant. Uh, and, I, and I think he's moved here from the north. Uh, so he's, as soon as he got here, I think he's become a, uh, he's become a popular young man just because of his kindness. His, uh, his, his, he's, he's always happy. He's always exuberant, always has energy. So make a long story short, he's hit me up about playing football. Uh, and so we, we included him in our spring game last year. And he had a moment and, and got to, he caught a ball, got to score. But I think uh, that just fed his hunger and uh, he, he wanted more. So he kept on me, kept on me. And uh, he, wanted get, he, he wanted to play against the Allen Eagles. Uh, so we kind of brought him in. Uh, we didn't play him, but we made him part of the, you know, the process for Allen, come to the game on the sideline, wear a jersey, and then uh, just fed it some more. So I knew I had to get him in. I knew I had to get him on the field. Uh, called Coach Smith over at Plano West, got some people to be a part of it. He was wonderful. The officials were wonderful. Uh, they had a game ball for him to sign. And, um, and um, of course, he, he got to get in, he got to run a play, he got to score a touchdown. He did it very uniquely, which is uh, Royce in a nutshell. So uh, it, it, it was good for us. It, I, like, uh, I like to reward people. I like to take care of people who um, are just good people. You know, in our business, we're, we're, about, we're in the people business. So, it was good to, uh, it was good. He's given us enough of his energy. I want to give him some of our energy. And, and I noticed you had him in the, the locker room. You included him in everything. And uh, you talked to him about the play he was going to run uh, ahead of time, like right. you do all your other athletes. Take us through that, kind of the emotion in the locker room and, and what it meant to uh, Royce. So we always stop at a church on the road game and we kind of take it over. We have a pregame meal. Uh, Guy Earl does a devotional with us, and then we have a video test. We'll put our top 10 plays up there. Each kid will run through what they're doing on, on those particular plays and just kind of get some focus and our mind right. So we brought a lot. Royce, Royce did a full meal deal. He was here, got an early out from class, got on the bus, traveled with us. Uh, he saw that, you know, we were pretty businesslike. You know, it wasn't fun and games. So I'd have a little pep talk with him say, look, you know, I know you're, I know you're always, you know, loud and exuberant and it's time to get about business and uh he did exactly what we asked and he you could tell he was nervous uh came time a video test came up for his play uh you can see him kind of doing this number you know and make sure he got it right and uh and he nailed it he, he knew exactly what his job was he was loud he was uh, assertive like our other kids are and uh, i think for and his dad got to see all this so i think for his, his parents to see that uh, he got to experience the full meal deal including the pregame meal uh, it was was a good deal. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a uh, road cover three. You get the go call, right, everybody? Everybody good? Yeah. Find that hole in there, Seth, whoever number two is. All right, next play. All right, we're going to go Royce score right right here, all right? So, Royce, you are point to Royce right now, Coach. When he gets to that spot, it's when you talk, not to the end, all right? Right. All right, here we go, Coach. Royce score right on one one Ready for it. Uh, catch the snap, hand the ball off to the right, count my face. That's it, H, that's H. Sorry to confuse you guys up front. Kick out or walk back. Uh, 25 yard dash to the end zone. Celebration. <laughs> uh, run the ball. Uh, to the right and make a touchdown. There you go. Yes. Yeah. All right, next ball. Do it. Ready, ready. Roll white. 18, 18. I'll set.